Hi folks, welcome back to Tony's Diecast Restos. Today I'm doing the budgie number 7, Mercedes-Benz. Based on the 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196R, it first appeared in the SO series as number 7 in 1956. Like the real car, it was always painted metallic silver, so it did not need any trim. The base and driver were cast together and were always coloured red. 1958, more stone included the Mercedes-Benz as one of the four cars in Noddy's garage set. After the SO series ended in 1959, it was reissued by Budgie for five more years. Both the Budgie gift sets of miniatures number 8 and 12 included the Mercedes-Benz Basin car. There was little change to number 7, but around 1964, the long running metal wheels were replaced by black plastic and the colour of the driver and base became a slightly darker red. It was finally withdrawn from production in 1965. This car is pretty basic construction. It consists of the body, the driver and base is cast as one, so that's two parts, the wheels and the axles. So hopefully this is going to be a pretty easy restoration job. As you can see, it's not in too bad condition. The paint's play one, the driver's head's a bit buffed, the wheels are a bit dull, and both the axles are quite rusty. This is possibly the oldest car I'll ever restore, so I'm going to enjoy doing this one. It'll be interesting to see how the wheels are held in place. Okay, so let's get on with it. Starting with a big drill to take the small rivet out. There's only the one rivet in this car, so it's nice and easy to take apart. As usual, I'm using the 6mm drill just to take the edge off the air rivet there. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty much it. Notice the hole on the rivet slightly off centre. I'm going to have to come in with a smaller drill there. Yeah, slightly angling it there, just trying to get the hole back into the centre of the pillar. be better now and I'll probably finish it off with a big drill again so that's a six millimeter back into the chuck and here I come just to finish that rivet off took quite a bit off there that's loosened off a bit might have to use the screw to have under the wheels if I can get my hands on one oh there we go and straight off there look that's pretty basic. The wheels are just sitting in those slots there. And that's pretty much it. Two sets of wheels, a base and a body. A little bit dirty, but all in all not too bad condition. It's okay, not bad. Casting's a bit rough. So I've moved on a bit now. Paint's been removed and the uh, casting's been polished. There's a few casting lines on here though I'm going to take off I think. And along the top of the wings, the back end and the front end's a bit rough there. And here's the usual tapping out of the hole. That's an M2 tap. Holes at a slight angle caused a slight problem with the tap, but uh, yeah, works out okay in the end. Bit of swarf in there, need to get rid of. There we go. Uh, that's this bolt going in. Yeah, that works okay. Okay, I've moved on a little bit more. As you can see, I've painted this chrome silver, uh, but I wasn't particularly happy with this colour, so I changed it at some point in the future. But this is me taking the casting lines off anyway. Just 
I've got to be careful because there's some little fine details uh, of the body on here. I just want to take the casting lanes out. Yeah, that's kind of okay. And then the front there, the other side of the grill, it's quite rough. Circular file in there. That's okay. On the other side. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's lots of curves on this car. Quite a bad cast line on the back edge there. Needs taken off. Started on it already. Just got to make sure I maintain those curves. And here we are, I'm finishing it off. That's it almost finished there. Yeah, no casting lines left on there, along the top of the wings there. Looks pretty good. Back's okay. Front's looking nice. And now on to the base and driver. Pretty basic casting. Just going to take a few casting lanes off his body. Try not to file his face off though. That would be painful. I don't know what little lane that is. As you can see, it's like an inverted Y shape on the front of his body there. And on the sides here, I know his arms are a bit rough. Quite a big mold and mark there. Take that out. Sorry about the hand. Seems to be a lump there that came off no bother. Just take his tail off there. You pretty much see the casting lens as I'm filing them down. Don't really need to take that one out, but I did anyway. OCD Tony strikes again. Thought I tidied the edges up as well, they were about rough. Back on the body again. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done with that. Yeah, there you go. I'm using X7 Red on this guy with a couple of spots of black in just to darken it up a bit. That's something you don't see me doing on very often the colour test. It's pretty close. Been in the caustic soda now, so he's all nice and uh, paintless. I'll have to polish him up a bit though. So off we go. I 
quite like these little buffalo wheels. They're quite efficient. How durable they are, I don't really know yet though. I haven't really tested them. As always, I've speeded this bit up because it takes a while. These soft buffer wheels come in really handy with these awkward shapes. You can get right into the corners, no problem. That's looking nice. Yeah, pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay, now he's had his first coat of primer there and I've spotted this hole on his back. So I'm going to fill it. I don't know, this, this filler always separates in the tube. It's a very pain sometimes. So you've got to mix it up anyway. There we go. So we get a bit more focused for you. A little pat on the back, literally. And there we go. Let's see what it's like now. That's after he's been primed. All looking good. That's the Tamiya Fine Primer in grey. Yeah, he's looking happy. And here's the body. It's already had its final spray. That's a titanium silver. I didn't like the chrome silver. I thought it was too bright and sparkly. So the titanium silver, a little bit subdued. But I think it looks better. And there we go. The final red on the uh, base now. Looking pretty good. Nice colour match. Getting near the end. As you can see, I've painted the wheels black, left the hubs uh, titanium silver, polished the axles, nice and clean now. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Not the most difficult of constructions. Pretty good fit. And finally the screw goes in. As you can see I've swapped the black one for a silver one. I, think, I thought it was more appropriate. And that's pretty much done. Ready for the final reveal. Looking good. No, I'm going to do some detail first. Just these two exhaust pipes here, I think. And possibly the badge on the front. Molotov chrome pen. Still going. So, as you remember, paint was player one. Driver's head was a bit scuffed. Pretty rough casting, lots of rough edges on it. Had to be filed off. Wheels were dull as ditch water and the axles were rusty. Nice looking car though, eh? So, okay then. Let's see what it looks like now. The Budgie number 7 1954 Mercedes Benz W196R in titanium silver. I think it's a real improvement on the original. 
paint looks all nice and smooth now. No casting lines, no rough edges. Driver's happy, he's all shiny again. Got rid of all these uh, lumps and bumps. Exhausts uh, show up a little bit there with the chrome on, excellent. The wheels are a bit shiny, but you know, that's the only back I had, so I had to use it. They still look pretty good though. And the hubs are obviously titanium silver as well to go with the car. So, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. I think it's pretty good. I kind of like the simplicity of these budgie models. I didn't want to go over the top with the customization of this car. I quite like it the way it is. I could have painted the guy's face pink I suppose, but no, I don't think it would have looked right. Got a few more budgie models, I'm looking forward to doing those. I might slot them in between the more complicated customs I do. Anyway, enough of the rambling. You remember? Stick some comments below, like or dislike, subscribe if you haven't already, click the notifications bell so you know when the next video comes up. Anyhow, I suppose I better go on to what I'm doing next. The Greyhound bus I've started isn't quite finished. I'm still working on the details on that one. But it's pretty much there. It's looking good. The next car after that possibly could be red. I decided I was going to do seven cars at once. So there they are in the um, caustic soda, ready for stripping. Finally, I'm just about to start on this corgi Bentley Continental saloon. As you can see, it's a bit of a wreck, but that's going to be a full restoration. As always, if you want to send us something, there's the address. If you want to get in touch with us, there's the email address. Uh, that's pretty much it for now, I think. Anyway, till the next time, goodbye.